Hey developers, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT in your VS Code. Okay, so basically there is one extension uh, from the ChatGPT itself uh, where you can access the questions or if you have any kind of doubts or you can access any kind of questions and all everything inside VS Code only without uh, going into the browser and you have to type there over there. Anyway, you have to type over here also, but still uh, it is more convenient if you're using inside the VS Code only, right? So on that purpose, I'll be sharing this one useful VS Code extension. Uh, you can just follow me throughout the video. You will understand everything. Uh, I'll, I'll explain you every procedure, what I want to do, what to install, everything. Okay, and I'll show you the how it works and special uh, some features also. So anyways, uh, let's just get into the videos. And as usual, if you have any kind of uh, concerns about the uh, installation or anything, you can just let me know in the comment section or you can just ping me through the LinkedIn. Okay, so anyways, I will now just uh, rush into this VS Code. Uh, you have to install this extension. Okay, just come op open VS Code and come here to extension sections. There you have to search is for Code GPT. You have to search Code GPT, not Chat GPT. Okay, basically this is from Open API only. Open API is from the our Chat uh, Chat GPT who are providing this um, same extension. Okay, so you don't need to worry. This is one is a uh, original one only. You can see the downloads also. Oh, it's a good rated download. Okay, so you have to install this one, and after that you just need to go to any kind of code. I just go here and. Okay, so after that you have to come this into this uh, website open API. Uh, I'll provide this link in the description also you can just check out from there and you have to sign up here. Okay, so I have already signed up so I'll just log in. Uh, you can sign up using uh, Google or Microsoft you can, can provide your email address and password manually anything works. So I'll just uh, log in through my Google only. Okay, so I have been logged in. Now what I have to do is I have to just click on my profile and I have to go here view API keys. Okay, so here I have already one created one. I'll just remove this one. Okay, so I have to create a new API key. It seems so. So you won't see this one while you when you are logging for the first time. Uh, you have to create new secret key. Okay, so while creating you have by the same time you have to copy this one. I'll tell you why you need to copy this API key also. Uh, so copy this one and just save it okay now you have to go back here and uh, inside the comment you have to whatever the questions you have right you can just add here for example i want to uh, i need explanation of merge sort okay so i'll just give here merge sort and i need to add question mark here okay so after that i need to give control plus shift plus i Okay, so now it started to thinking actually. You can see here I'm thinking uh, this is some code GPT only. So if uh, okay, anyhow the I got the solution here only. But in your case it might won't come like this. It might ask for a yeah, there will be a pop up here. Uh, yeah, there there might be a there will be surely they will be asking for a pop up here in the top. So you need to just paste that API key over here and uh, you just enter enter over that after that if you are accessing again this question then you can see this answer over here okay so you can see they are explaining very nice and just i mean not explanation the code is actually really good uh, they are giving every kind of uh, in the inside the comment section also everything is okay fine okay so this is one feature of this uh, code gpt okay mm -hmm. so after that if you want to learn something more right so example for example i'll just remove this one uh, okay, so I want to and I want to know what is this thing. Okay, so you need to just select this one, right click, and you uh, you can ask with uh, code GP two, code GPT to explain that particular line or what or a full function or anything, you know, whatever you select, right? So click on that. You can see here I'm thinking. Okay, so you can see that we are getting the detailed explanation also. This code uses express or middleware to pass the incoming request and JSON payloads. Uh, if you don't know this one, I'll make a separate video about this index.js file. If you are a Node.js backend developer, uh, I'll explain every line by line. Uh, for now, they are telling it is because uh, we'll be getting in a different form of text, right? And like our data uh, in a text format and all. So we have to convert that into JSON form. So they're just explaining that thing here. Uh, so yeah, like this, 
uh, they are what we are uh, what they are trying to explain us for example now i just go to here and i want to i need the explanation of okay i'll just need explanation of this one let's see how it is explaining okay so it explains really great here this code checks if the variable first name is empty or not if it is empty it returns a status code of 400 message saying please enter first name so yeah they will be uh, the explanation will be uh, up to the point and it will be so clear you will understand in the first glance only okay uh, so yeah uh, this is it for this video or uh, if you have any further queries you can just let me know in the comment section uh, if you want to need any kind of next upcoming videos or you have any kind of doubts you can just let me know so that i'll cover up in upcoming videos or i'll just uh, if it is a short one then i'll answering there only uh, so uh, until then thank you